Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Leishon Park for this round three QAFLW match of the round between Yuronga South Brisbane and the University of Queensland. Uh, joined, joined by me today is Eliza Riley for her first match of the season. Welcome, Eliza. Thank you. Um, interesting game, this one. Um, both sides so far have not had the access to their AFLW and academy talent, and that's changing for today. So Yuronga have got seven new players playing their first game for the year, um, and UQ have got five, um, and there's some, some big talent there. Yeah, obviously AFLW players coming back in will strengthen both of these sides. I mean, you've got Emily Bates, who's one of the stars of the Brisbane Lions, playing her first game of the season. So really to look for her through the midfield. And her partner in crime, Gabby, uh, Gabby Collingwood, I should say. Um, both of those two have signed with the Lions for next year as well. So they'll be able to work on their, um, their strong playing relationship um, throughout the rest of this year for Yoronga and into next year. Um, and um, we've also got uh, playing their first games for the year, um, Dee Heslop from the Gold Coast Suns Academy, um, Jackie Yorston from the Lions AFLW, um, and Taya Hutchison and Kara Stock.
It's a beautiful afternoon here at Leishon Park for this QAFLW match of the round between Yoronga South Brisbane and University of Queensland. Joining me today, Lenny Phillips, is Eliza Riley. Hey, how are you going? Very well. Uh, we're not far from kickoff here. We're probably a minute or so away, and the uh, players getting in position. Um, quick preview: uh, Yoronga are two and zero coming into the uh, into this ground, um, whilst UQ have lost both of their games. But it's a very new dynamic this week, with both sides being bolstered by the inclusion of their AFLW. Uh, and State Academy players. Yeah, obviously having access to those AFLW players, some lines coming back into both sides, so that's going to be huge for both sides. First bounce is underway and not much happening early. Ball is picked up, tackled straight away, and we've got a bounce. Yeah, Yoronga has obviously been one of the standout teams of this competition for the past few years, but UQ, you know, they've always been up and about. Lovely uh, centre, centre break there by Beaven, but the mark was not able to be taken, and Yoronga are going to try and clear this ball out. Uh, it's a pretty uh, intense start, as you would expect. Both sides very keen to get on the board, but UQ are going to be able to clear through Bree Conan. Sorry, UQ are going to be able to cut it off through Bree Conan, I should say. Coming back inside now. Good spoil there from Yoronga. Natalie Exxon just couldn't quite get her hands on that one there. Obviously heading down to St Kilda for the next AFLW season. So he's played a couple with the Lions now. Really good year this year and now we get to see us play some suburban footy. Another clearance from UQ but a good tackle there. We've got a holding the ball free kick going Yoronga's way so they'll get their chance to try and have their first foray forward. Free kick going here to Vanessa Hart. So first season playing AFL, or playing QAFLW, former soccer player. Nicely picked up there by Maloney. Goes backwards to her teammate in McGorm. Across half back. Kicks to a contest on the wing. No mark taken. Nicely roved there by Maloney again and gets the ball forward up to the wing. But it's Yonga first to the footy. McGorm again, uh, Maloney again following up her good work. Kicks forward. Not sure that was 15, but the umpire's called play on. UQ moving towards their 50 now. Picked up beautifully there by the Yoronga player and she sends it forward. Pushing the backcourt there and it'll be UQ's ball with Jane Child set to take the kick. She sends it out wide. Bit scrappy early here. Good follow up there from Childs, goes forward. Can't good kick there but can't quite be marked by her teammate. Nat Thomas trying to clear the ball, does pretty well there, finds a teammate. Oh, good tackle there from Dakota Davidson. Jackie Austin will be feeling that one. Obviously heading down to the Suns next season. Maloney again, plenty of touches across halfback early for Maria Maloney. Kicks coming out here, looking for Dee Hesler, but it's nicely cut off there by Jane Childs. Charles has been pretty good early, just intercepting on the halfback flank and sending it back forward for her team. Looks like Megan Hunt's got the ball here. Sends it forward to the running Rachel Vetter. Hands it back off. Maloney sends it forward to the goal square. And Hunt follows up there and gets herself the first goal of the match. I feel like we've been playing for three minutes and I've said Maria Maloney's name six times. She's been everywhere and running, uh, mopping up the ball at half back there and then running forward and pushing forward hard and uh, getting front and centre to the contest there and setting up that goal for her teammate in Hunt. Terrific work there from the, uh, the UQ half back. Of course, she's gone into the midfield now. Taya Hutchison off the bench going into their first centre, uh, centre bounce for the day. In her first game for the year, number 13. Front contest here. UQ player taps it down. And Jackie Yorston gets the clearance for Yoronga. Puts it up towards their 50. But it looks like UQ are going to pick it up here and send it back down there into the field. Good pick up there by Jane Childs again. And she sends it inside to Marley Bevan, who takes the game on, goes straight down the middle, but turns it over there. It's a good intercept mark by Nicole O'Loughlin. She's played on though and turned it over. Only as far as Bevan again, who looked to go inside 50. 
Looks to a nest of hornets and it's nicely uh, cleared there from Yuronga. They've gone up towards their big centre half forward. He's picked it up beautifully and dropped it, but she's away again. Nice tackle there from Alexandra Moran and she'll get the free kick. Yuku just assessing their options here, whether to go wide or take it down the middle. It's a good bounce to herself there. That was basketball-like. And now Conan's got the ball and sends it inside 50. Oh, that's a good punch from behind there from the younger player. I'm lucky not to be out on the full there, but um, terrific spoil there from Camilla Burnett. Great defensive fist there, getting the ball over the boundary line for a throw-in, and they can reset. Ball clears the ruck contest there, and it's picked up by Jackie Yorston. Handball comes out now and finds Natalie Thomas, who's able to chip to a couple of teammates. Doesn't quite hit one, but it bounced up nicely for them. Lovely smother and then follow-up from UQ here. That was terrific by Alexandra Moran. And Jane Childs, busy across half-back early. Nice tackle there, and we'll have a ball up. Not sure Dee Hetzlop knew where the umpire was there. She just sort of chucked it over her shoulder, and the umpire's had to fetch his own ball. So that's you can do better than that, Dee. Gold Coast Academy player. UQ looking to go inside 50 again, and a nice mark taken by Nat Exxon. As Eliza said before, signed with St Kilda for next year in the AFLW. She brings the ball inside to Bree Conan, who goes long, lovely kick there, and the mark's been taken by, I think it might be Megan Hunt. Save Never. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Lions frenzy there, you know, they know how to play together, and it just showed in that passage of play there. Currently unsigned for AFLW next year. Some talk about Gold Coast potentially being on the radar, but she'll be keen to impress this season for UQ. Shot for goal is good. Straight through the middle. Two goals early for Megan Hunt. We obviously know she's a very talented player, but she's had very up and down seasons in the AFLW so far. So like you said, she'd definitely be looking to impress with no contract on the horizon. Excellent player at this level, one of three um, co-best and Ferris last year. Megan, Jane Childs and Nat Greider, numbers one, two and three. Back into the middle here. Soccer forward there from the UQ Ruckman. There is Nat Greider. Good tackle there. Ball up. It's a lot more open this gun than what we've seen earlier in this season. Um, maybe the uh, sprinkling of AFLW players has just kept it a little bit more open. The skills are a little bit better. The tackling is still very fierce. Both sides very keen to set the standard early. We'll have another ball up. <laughs> fierce in there. Lots of numbers around the ball. A free kick's been picked out here to Taya Hutchinson, playing her first game for the year. Picks up with a nice mark taken there by Emily Bates. It's going to send it up the wing Sorry, here. It's Gabby Collingwood, my yeah. mistake. Collingwood sends it out wide, and that might be Bates that she's passed it to there. A bit far away, but I... She sends it back into the middle and turns it over to the UQ player there, who's going to send it wide to Nat Exxon. She's going to run onto it, and she's got a teammate out wide in Middleton. Just off the bench, Lauren Middleton. Uses her. It's it towards the goal, but it's going to be through for a behind. She came just off the bench there at the right time, was able to support her teammate there in that Exxon, but unable to uh, convert the opportunity forward. And Yurong will have their first kick out for the match, and we'll see how UQ's uh, defence goes protecting the ball in this side there, forward 50. I think this wind blowing across the ground here might be the reason UQ's managed to get on the board early. I mean, it's early days, but we'll see what Yuronga do when they get this end of the ground next. Nice mark from Emily Bates. Goes long up the line, looking for a teammate in Lily Bagur, but doesn't quite make it that far. Maloney again, can't quite, can't quite be clean. Bit of a scrap here. Again, big tackling pressure, a nice tackle there. And we'll have another ball up. Lily Bagua, the initial target for that kick, following up with a nice tackle to uh, lock the ball in. So Maloney again brings the ball inside, looking for Lauren Middleton. Helmeted Lauren Middleton does well. 
Goes long up the line. Oh, nicely picked up there by Rachel Vetter. Looks for a teammate. Not sure that's 15, but the umpire's paid the mark to Nat Exxon. Busy up forward again. Goes long. I'm not sure if that was to the top of the goal square or for, for a shot. Ended up being a bit of, bit of both. And a three for one behind. She'll say she was trying to pass it off. The wind got it. It's a special skill forwards have got to make it look like they're trying to pass it, but actually have the shot for goal. Yep. And Exxon's mastered it there. Unfortunately unable to put it through for a goal. Nicely attacked there by Jesse Henning. And picks it up, does very well. Snap for goal is terrific. That's terrific play from Jesse Henning. She's the only person that wanted that ball. She's run probably 30 metres between sprinting to try and be first to that contest and then picking up her um, her own spoil. Snapshot for goal was terrific. And uh, that's three goals to UQ. Three goals, 2.20. Two younger yet to score. Younger really needs to sort of get on the ball board here unless this scoreboard pressure is going to start to build and you know it's quite surprising they haven't had that opportunity yet I don't know if they've even got it inside 50 from memory I don't think they have maybe once but um, they would have been they were favorites coming into this game as well having gone 2 and 0 as opposed to UQ 0 2 for this for the start with some high quality players coming in but UQ have been terrific another clearance forward there great mark taken by Maria Maloney she might be in a distance with this win behind her doesn't look too confident. She's going to have a crack. It's close. Nicely shepherded on the goal line there by Rachel Vetter. And UQ have their fourth goal on the board and Yuronga is shell-shocked. There's just such a strong AFLW Lions presence in this Yuronga side. So, I mean, I think some of their leaders really need to stand up here and sort of set the standard. I mean, you've got on-field and then we can see over to our right, Sam Virgo is controlling the interchange on the bench here. And then Jesse Keefe, another Lions player, is running water. So, you know, with such a strong AFLW presence, they've just got to stand up here, Yuronga. Good thing is with that much quality in the side, they can definitely turn this around quite quickly if they can get a bit of a run on. But again, it's going to be another centre clearance to UQ, but a good tackle. Trying to lock the ball in. Desperate stuff there from Emily Bates. Good tackle by X on there, on her teammate Bates. Bit of friendly fire. Emily Bates not at all keen for this to continue, really trying to spur her aside, get a centre clearance. Again, she finds herself with the footy. A gang tackle by two. Nicely done there from Alexandra Moran. UQ are on it up and about. They're, they're fierce in the contest. They're up and about. They're very excited. They'll be looking to press forward this advantage. Thrown there by Nat Grider, and it'll be Yuronga's free kick. Looks like Hessler sending it wide to Collingwood. Some good link up play in this early part of the possession chain. Now we've got Goodwin to send it inside 50 for Yuronga. It's been a rare sight down in their 50. But UQ managed to turn it over, but it goes as far as Heslop, who's now putting the shepherd on for a teammate, Collingwood. Slaps it out back towards Goodwin. First real foray to deep into forward line here, and they've got a chance here. Nicely done there by uh, Courtney McDonald, the leading goal kicker for the year, or equal goal kicking leader for the year, but it's been a free kick uh, picked out, and it's going to go the way of UQ. Not a great kick, though. It's been turned over straight to Vanessa Hart. Sophie Sarudi will want to do better than that. She's a talented player, did her ACL in 2017, but fought back magnificently and had an impact for Bond last year in the quaffle and now has made the transfer to UQ. This UQ uh, backline seems very switched on, very resolute. Must play a fair bit of footy together, these guys, because they are working with each other very, very well and not letting anything past, propelling any um, foray forward. And I think they might have gone inside their forward 30 or so once, Yuronga, so... UQ half back line holding up beautifully. They get another free kick here and a chance to have another four way forward through Nat Grider, is it? No, it's going to go to Jamie Stone. Jackie Yorston wasn't that happy with that free kick. She sort of ditched it back at the UQ player there and could have drawn a 50 metre penalty but was lucky not to. The umpire was kind there. 
kind again there for the marks of Dakota Davidson. Might have hit the ground, but she's been paid. Nice switch inside if this comes off. Oh, not quite able to be marked, but they're still on for the chance to go forward. Nicely picked up there by Nat Exxon. Sends it out towards Hunt. Younger going to try and clear that, but it's cut off by that wall from UQ. We saw it in the final series last year. They set up that wall beautifully. They've done so again today. They'll go forward. Out there is Lauren Middleton trying to... It's two on one there, Lauren Middleton and Maria Maloney, but the younger player does well to kick it to a teammate. Might be an optimistic op um, option to bounce, but she's got a handball away, but only as far as a UQ opponent. There's a few handballs going back and forth here without anyone being able to get too much of a territorial advantage. Comes out wide, though. Nicely set up handball to Nat Exxon, who's able to switch the ball inside. It's all Yuronga there. If they can be clean, and they can through Sarah Duncan. Nice hand pass. And it's going to come out. Oh, it's slipping, it's slipping over there was Vanessa Hart. And Davidson's going to try and take advantage, but she just takes a little bit of time, sets it up beautifully. Did very, very well there to Jamie Stone. Jamie Stone sends it inside, but straight to the Yuronga player there. She'd want to have that one back again. She passes it out wide to Gabby Collingwood, who can get a run on if she can be clean, but she's not. She's taken high there, then the umpire gives her the benefit of the doubt. Looking up the wing here, Courtney McDonald makes the lead, the videographer for the Brisbane Lions. So good to see her out on the park today and not at the Q Clash. Good to see her choosing suburban footy over her job. Collingwood's got the ball here, sends it up. That's a great intercept mark by Rachel Vetter. Taking marks at half back, she's shepherding through goals. She's all over the park at the moment, Rachel Vetter. Not quite able to be marked there by Nat Grider and a nice tackle by Gabby Collingwood locking it in. And we're going to have a ball up directly in front of our commentary spot here in front of the two benches. Comes down. Nice shepherd there from Sutton, allows a teammate in Jackie Yorston to get the ball forward. But again, that UQ wall is there across half back. Oh, it's clearly in the back. Good call, Eliza. Going to switch out there, Rachel Vetter. Coming out to a teammate in Bree Conan. And they've got all the run out here. If Eva Agnew can be clean, but it goes just over her head. Jane Childs is there to try to mop up, but a great smother by Esther Allen for Yoronga. But UQ have got numbers out there, and they're going to run it forward again through Agnew. It's butted up her uh, kick very well. Looking for, I think it's Maloney out there who gets the ball forward. This is fairly good, uh, fairly good switch play and getting it forward from UQ. And they're running forward in numbers here. Big kick to the hot spot where they've been dangerous in this first quarter. No mark taken, but it's a two on three UQ's way. Slipping over was Be Bevan. Pressure comes on and we'll have a ball up. Yuronga had a good five minutes there, but we've just seen UQ get it inside their 50 time and time again. So let's see what they can do here. Bates has got the ball now, passes off to a teammate who throws the ball there, but the umpire doesn't quite pick that up. UQ got the ball here, but it looks like we're going to have another throw up on the edge of the 50. Jackie Yorston puts it up towards the middle of the ground, but slapped down there. Courtney Randall goes, not Courtney Randall, my apologies. Courtney McDonald goes between her legs. Just see that difficulty in trying to get the ball forward into this breeze. UQ able to do it with ease, but Yoronga's kicks look like they're falling five or ten metres short every time. Change of tack from Yoronga here. They're really trying to use the middle just to get it, just to get it in there. Take the most direct path. We've seen them use the wing earlier in the game, but now they're just going straight down the middle. So we'll see whether that pays off for them. Okay. Thought it was a high free in the yard. Uh, non-officiating umpire has called it and he's called it downfield which is an interesting decision I'm not sure it should have been downfield but Yoronga will take the chance to have a good foray inside forward through Courtney McDonald definitely outside of her range but she looks for a leading teammate and hit it beautifully not quite able to mark there was Begore and this very good UQ uh, defence just gang tackler and it, it, two on one for the uh, tackling and uh, even after that the kick forward was able to be turned over to a unmarked UQ opponent Forward line, that back line setting up very, very well here. And you see the numbers behind the ball again as it's going to be cleared by Michaela Martin. Able to find a teammate in Maloney. Goes up looking for Middleton. One-on-one -on -one contest here. Your younger teammates first in there, but then you can see two or three UQ numbers getting over to support, and they're going to win the ball forward again. 
that's really been the key so far is that it's it a bit of a win, but UQ are running in numbers and supporting each other a lot better than Yurunga are so far. Tackling has been ferocious so far early. It's now for 30 seconds left in the quarter as well. Ball up here on the edge of UQ's 50. Let's see if they can have one more shot on goal in the last couple seconds here. Puts it inside, Hunt picks it up, goes towards goal, but it just bounces on the other side of the post. So Yurunga to kick it out here and probably soak up the remaining few seconds. They don't want another scoring shot here. Siren goes here. So far in this quarter, we've talked about the wind advantage and UQ have really used that and are four goals up. So scores are Yuronga gets trouble scorers. UQ are four goals and two points for 26. We'll be back in five or so minutes for the second quarter. Stay tuned on the QAFLW match of the day, Yuronga South Brisbane versus the University of Queensland.
here at Leishon Park for the second quarter of this clash between University of Queensland and Yeronga South Brisbane. So pretty one-sided court first quarter with the wind advantage obviously playing Yeronga's way, I mean UQ's way. So we'll see what Yeronga can do here now that they've got the wind blowing their direction. Score at the moment, UQ are on 27 and Yeronga are, are yet to tr score. So we'll see how this quarter plays out. Always fun to see how a side rebounds after getting Polax in the first quarter. You're going to be keen to get the first couple of scores on the board. And that's borne out in their desperation for this early early uh, contest. And they've set up nicely behind the contest here. And they've got a couple of players. And they'll try and get the ball forward via handball. Comes out via a kick off the ground now. But it's set up, it's uh, picked up nicely there by the UQ half-back line and they'll clear out to this wing looking for Xanthi Saruti but it's been nicely uh, picked up there by one of the younger players who's not listed it's turned over straight to UQ they go forward and a nice mark taken there by Megan Hunt who's been very very dangerous early in this first uh, early in the first quarter nice hit finds Dakota Davidson it looks like she's lining up she's having half a look inside like any good forward but I think she might have a shot for goal Dakota Davidson, tough kick from this pocket, fair crack with a one that goes sideways, might have gone through, it has, it's floated through sideways, very, very excited, and the perfect start for UQ and a horror start for Yeronga to this quarter. Love the celebration there from Davidson, just really getting her teammates up and about, bringing them into it. Good goal from her. Megan Hunt's obviously been the main scorer early, but now Davidson gets on the board and heads back to the gold square. Forward stream there. Kick, take a mark in the pocket, pretend to look inside, and then put it through from a tough angle from 35 out. Terrific stuff. Back in the middle now. Umpire tosses it up. Falls down here, and it's a bit of a pack. Doesn't look like it's going to get out of there, and we'll have another stoppage. The UQ Ruck in Jamie Stone has been really dominant early. She's really giving her midfielders first use. UQ look like they're going to get another clearance here. But just fumbled there by the player in Marley Bevan. And now Yuronga will get the chance to send it back down there into their forward line, hopefully. Gabby Collingwood comes out to the wing looking for a teammate in Kara Stock, but she can't quite mark it. It's not a turnover. Lovely tackle there from Emily Bates, and it's been called holding the ball. Hopefully, it will inspire her team. A nice kick forward, but great spoil there from Nat Ryder. This halfback line from UQ has been absolutely resolute. Piling the pressure on here, we'll have another ball up. It's been very hard for Yonga to get any clean ball inside their forward half of the ground. That was a really great spoil there. Just read the ball off the boot better than anyone else and cut across, left her player, punched it out of the way and UQ have proven that they are the dominant side in this contest so far. Yoronga sent it inside 50, but again, UQ are first to the ball, but she hands it straight back to Lily Bush. And Courtney McDonald will get Yoronga on the board here. Nice little kick. Not far out from goal. And they get their first goal of the day. So we'll head back into the middle now. But Yoronga will be happy to finally be on the board after a very one-sided contest so far. Might be the first mistake UQ's backline's made all day and Yoronga have made them pay. By the judging of this first quarter in a bit, they'll need to uh, take advantage of every half opportunity they get. And the competition leading goal kicker in Courtney McDonald was able to do so beautifully there. So Ducks go up again. Again won by the UQ Ruckman in Jamie Stone. And a nice centre clearance here from Bevan. Goes long to the dangerous spot. Davidson can't quite take the mark. She had read it beautifully in the air and it just slipped out of the hands. Turned an almost certain set shot for goal into a 50-50 snap and just only to get it through for a behind. Yuronga to look wide now. She spotted someone out on the broadcast side, shoving the side there from Saruti. She's penalised for it. It was a little bit obvious. 
got to disguise those ones. You can't be as blatant as that, unfortunately. The umpire will definitely call you out on it. So you're on going to send it up towards Bates. She's got two on one here. Oh, she's the umpire's called a push, so Bates will get the chance to head up the wing. Gives a little nod to a player there, I think, signaling for them to lead. But she's forced to play on and handballs it off. It's fairly fortunate she got Mia Walsh just off the bench there, able to give the handball too, but well, UQ have been able to force the turnover. Firstly, force the contest and now get a free kick going the way of Xanthi Saruti right in front of us here. Hand passes to a teammate in Conan who goes forward. No mark taken and the ball will spill out of bounds for a boundary throw in. It's always common practice when you get taken high to straighten the ponytail straight after it. Just make sure your hair's looking good. Hayley Pierce has snuck on through the interchange here and is at the back of this contest on her own if they can get the ball out. And she might be on the ball and it's gone over her head here. It's going to be a boundary, it's going to be another boundary throw in, but worked herself into a nice spot there to be able to get either the handball from a teammate coming back that she can go forward with or to be that um, that protection for your younger clearance. I'm part to throw the ball in now. Next goal, very, very crucial to this game. Give your younger half a sniff if they can get it. Ryder fumbles and bumbles and gets pushed over, so now the ball's going straight back to her. Collingwood giving the ball back there. Ryder trying to spot something she likes and she puts it up. Spilt the mark there. We've got a bit of a scrap just in front of us here. Jackie Austin gets a quick kick out. UQ pressure is huge. Younger can't get half, even half a quick uh, kick forward, but it's a nicely picked up there by D Heslop. Kick forward, but oh, free kick there. Can't tackle without the ball, and it's going to be a free kick going the way of Marnie McGorm, who plays on quickly. Kick to a contest. No mark taken by Nat Greider, but she's able to get the ball forward, but it'll be cut off there at half back by Kara Stock. Hand pass it to a teammate in Goodwin with a nice smother, and UQ will get another chance to go forward or can't quite be clean. It's willing in there. Vanessa Hart comes away with it, finds a teammate in Heslop. A little bit of time to be able to straighten up and go inside 50 with a dangerous kick. No mark taken. Front and centre is all UQ. And they'll be able to clear through Alexandra Moran. Gets a hand pass to a teammate in Childs. Up to the centre of the ground. Big contest here. Players gone down for Yoronga. It is Vanessa Hart getting up gingerly, but she looked to be okay. Meanwhile, a good tackle from Jackie Yorston, and it's going to be a free kick to Yoronga. Oh, puts the spin on there. That's a bit of candy sold. She'll be happy with that one, Jackie Yorston. But UQ have marked on that half back line there, which has just been an absolute wall. And she sends it out wide to Exxon, who's got it right on the wing here. Looks inside, but puts it over a player's head. But that was a great pick up, almost there from Greider, who dives on the ball and gets taken high. So it'll be Greider's kick to potentially get another inside 50 here. But no, she looks inside to her teammate there. There's space everywhere for UQ. They had no one inside their forward 40 there, allowing all their forwards to run into space. Ball comes in. Oh, was it me marked? Oh, I thought it might have been touched there by Sarah Duncan, and she's certainly claiming it, but the umpire has paid a mark to Megan Hunt running into that space I talked about. Megan Hunt, call to play on. Chip shot. Oh, lovely kick to the leading forward. He couldn't ask for a better delivery there for Maria Maloney. Playing her first game for the season for UQ has been very, very dangerous. All over the ground, really. This is their first shot at goal. Sorry, second sorry, a shot had her second goal, I should say. Really well drilled forward line there. They were just chipping it around, teasing Yuronga. She comes in and she slots it. That's another one to UQ. They're dominating this contest and Yuronga just don't know what to do about it. They're shell-shocked. Look a very well drilled unit, UQ. Back six, look. Just look to look to know what each other. Sorry, back five, I should say. Look to know what each other are thinking and 
cutting down the spaces very well and able to set up behind the play, whereas Yoronga playing very uh, very much a um, player on player defensive setup and doesn't seem to be as much um, team structure that, that as UQ have got in that back five. Bates gets the handball out there, but goes straight to UQ, who will again send the ball forward. I feel like we've said it so many times today. Exxon picks it up, runs inside, 50. But it's a push in the back there, and that's 50. She just tossed, your younger player just tossed the ball there. You've got to give it back on the full, and she just said, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm doing too much work back here, so I'll just toss it back to you, but you can't do that. And Meek and Hunt will line up for another goal. Spoke about um, things that we said a few times already today. UQ sent a clearance to Nat Exxon being dangerous across half forward to Megan Hunt being dangerous inside forward 30. That's basically been their game plan all day and it's worked terrifically for them. Three goals to Megan Hunt. Nat Exxon being involved in most of their goals, if not all of them. And it's a 40 point lead here, just over halfway through the second quarter. What have your younger got? It's a big question. So far, it hasn't been much. Hate to say it because they were obviously favourites coming into this game, but they haven't shown any bite, any fight. So we'll see how they go, whether they can fight back. And they can do it if they give it to Bates, who just gets the clearance there, sends it wide. But UQ are just first to the ball every time, but unfortunately she sends it out on the full there, does Michaela better. Michaela Martin, my apologies. So Emily Bates again. Been everywhere for Yoronga. Up, up the line. Might clear the teammate intended there in Bagor, and it does. Nice mark taken there. Goes back to where it came from. Bit Good contest. Nakarada not paid the mark. Tried to claim it. Nice smother there from Emily Bates again. Really trying to inspire her team. Yoronga will try and clear it here through hand pass, and it comes out from a kick from Bagor to a contest, but that half-back line again for UQ, Michaela Martin. Brings the ball inside the uh, inside the centre. They've been so dangerous during this all day, it really sets up the forward line when they can win the ball through the centre center square. Megan Hunt so clean, and she's got an option out wide here if we can get there to Nat Exxon. Oh, oh went for the spoiler, the specky over the, over the back of Vanessa Hart, couldn't quite hold on. She knew we were live streaming today and wanted to get a highlight on the board. Tackling there is, is, again was Exxon, but it's going to be cleared from Yoronga. Just a big thump forward, hoping for the best. First players back there are UQ and Michaela Martin. Nicely chased down there by uh, Taya Hutchison. And Yoronga got another chance to go forward through Bagor. Bit of a tussle here on the edge of the 50. Brandon Conan pops it out the back. But good pick up by D Heslop, but she's driven into the ground there. And looks like we're going to have a throw up. Two goals from Marie Maloney and plenty of action in this half of the ground as well. Plenty of uh, kilometres covered by her. Kick forward from Bagor. He's been, uh, been busy in the last five minutes or so, four or five kicks. Kick the ball forward and it'll be a throw in 55 metres or so around from the Yoronga goal. Just in that last stoppage, we saw Dee Heslop go up for the ruck. And um, I mean, she's a pretty confident girl but you're not sure you want someone who's less than 180 centimeters going up for a ruck contest so the ruckman has come back now Camilla Burnett and she'll take this one Esther Allen goes inside 50 to the hot spot big opportunity great spoil there from Beck Barnes I think it was snap for goal lucky bounce <laughs> terrific bounce and it's good through for a goal for Taya Hutchinson And a sniff for Yoronga. The second reel inside 25 or so for in the mound. He's going to get another goal out of it. A little bit lucky, but they'll take it. You're attacking. Got to take anything when you fall goals down. So, yeah, as you said, lucky bounce. And Yoronga are back within four goals. Last time Yoronga scored a goal, UQ were able to get it back pretty quickly. 
See if Yoronga can stop that from happening this time. It looks like they're going to get another centre clearance, but not quite able to be clean. Yoronga tackle a swarm, and we'll have another secondary ball up. Heslop getting tackled, could have got half a free kick there, but not paid. Jackie Austin comes back to Esther Allen, who kicks out to the wing. Good, nice mark taken there by Sarah Duncan. Probably could have been in the back anyway. But she's taken the nice mark, and she'll have a chance to get them forward. Goes inside 50, clears. It's probably the two options there. The wind sort of got hold of that one. Here's the UQ half back line again. Just running numbers so well. The always option behind the play, that handball back to get a clearing kick out of that back line. And we've got now. Three Conan, unable to get the ball cleanly, but picked up nicely by Nat Greider. Nice transition play there from UQ. Ooh. No mark able to be taken by Mia Walsh. And she's giving away a free kick to Megan Hunt. Lovely kick forward. She's so good at that. Getting back off her mark quickly, that little 25 metre chip kick to a leading teammate. She's found Lauren Middleton. We'll have a shot. No, she's gone the short pass. Oh. Nat Greider was open there, just couldn't quite get hit with the target. But she's earned a free kick. And Nat Greider have an opportunity to put them back in the lead by 34 points. They're loving chipping it around the 50 today. They're just absolutely toying with the Yoronga inside 50. We've seen a couple of these chain passes. That one didn't quite pay off, but they've got the free kick anyway. So Grider comes in, pulls it to the right, and it will be a point. Yoronga having to fetch her own ball here. One of the great spectacles of suburban footy. She plays on here. I think she was looking to go wide, but she, the kick came into the centre and now there's a scrap. Must be 15 players around this ball. We're trying to keep it, out, keep it out wide and keep it open and it's gone into the scrum where everybody is. Ball up, the likely result we've got there. The free kick's going to go the way of Yoronga. It's a ruck infringement. I believe it's going to Camilla Burnett. Burnett sends it wide here towards Bates. And she fumbles it and manages to keep it in. Just looks like, sends it up the line. Calls for deliberate by the UQ bench, but I reckon that was just off the outside of the boot and it'll be a throw in. Two rough women nominate. Look for Yorston at the front of this contest, but ball goes over the back. Heslop after it. Oh, UQ handballs it straight out to Yoronga there. They'll want that one again. That was improper disposal, not sure the umpire saw that one, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's been pretty good today. Sutton there with a hand pass, finding a teammate in Thomas. He's gonna try and run it out through handball. It hasn't quite worked for them today. If they can get the handball game right, it'll set them up nicely with this transition play, but half a fumble means the kick was turned over and it find the way of Alexandra Moran, who'll go back inside the forward half of the ground for UQ. Middleton, handball forward, but only as far as Sutton, who can't quite get a kick or a hand pass away. Picked up beautifully by Nat Exxon. Pressure came to her. Sutton's there again. Hand pass finds Bates, and they'll be able to clear here through Yoronga. This is a kick that's let them down. And UQ again through that resolute half-back line. Nice mark taken by Marnie McGorm. She's the head of women's football at UQ. Good to see her playing as well. It's just been as simple as playing in front. I mean, there's not much more to it. UQ are just always first at the ball because they're playing in front of their opponents. So it's worked out for them so far and Yuronga really just need to be there on the hip of their player and ready to l lead them to the contest because it hasn't happened so far. We've got a 50 metre penalty here. So Megan Hunt's won a free kick with some great defensive pressure inside 50 and once again, ball's not been given back to her on the full. And so what probably would have been a tough kick would have been a banana kick from the pocket. 
Now is an absolute gimme from a meter out. Dribbles it through. Another goal to UQ. That's four for Megan Hunt. She is on fire. Some discipline from Yoronga. You can't give away two goals through 50 meter penalties. In, a, in these games, you know, they've been pretty tight so far. I mean, not today, it's been pretty one-sided, but when you're that far down, you just can't be giving away gimme goals like that. Impressive thing with Megan Hunt. It's four goals, sounds great, but her work rate, her tackling, her pressure inside the forward 30 has been terrific. It's keen to impress. So that's a siren for half time. Umpire's talking to one of the Buckman as well. Not sure if anything's going to happen out of this. So we'll stick with it for a bit. Doesn't appear to be. Everyone's breaking for the half time break. So another good quarter of footy there from UQ. They're, we've talked about it so much, but their half back line has just really stood up and have not given Yoronga anything. I mean, one of their goals came through a lucky bounce, and that's just been epitomising their effort in the last half. So, UQ leading, seven goals, five, 47. Yoronga, two goals, 12.
Welcome back, everybody, to our QAFLW match of the day, where we have seen a score adjustment at half time. So, Yuronga, Yuronga two goals straight 12, um, and UQ have increased their score to eight goals, 553. So, it looks like the scoreboard attendant missed one in the second quarter there. Um, but we have a 41 point lead to UQ coming into this second half. Um, sun's starting to go down, so we'll have the lights come on soon, and we'll have some, um, some twilight footy. We'll see if Yuronga can make a game of it. Eliza. It's just going to be really interesting to see whether Yuronga can actually mount a comeback because UQ have just been so, so dominant. Their back line has held up magnificently and they get the first inside 50 of the day. So let's see whether this can spark them on. Good kick inside there out to the leading player, but she just drops the mark there. And UQ send it out wide. Great pick up and now it's in Exxon's hands who always knows what to do. So she sends it down the wing. And it's a good cut across mark there from Rachel Vetter, who sends it inside. Can't quite hit a target, but they've got numbers there through Nat Exxon again, who's followed up from her earlier kick. But a nice mark taken at centre-half back there by, guess who? Emily Bates? No. Umpires paid a push in the back. Doesn't seem to be too many players out there agreeing with it, but... The free kick's going to go to Marley Bevan and ever the opportunist, Megan Hunt, pulling away from that um, discussion with the umpire to try and get free, but wasn't able to get the kick. So the ball goes long to the key forward in Dakota Davidson. Robed nicely there by Maria Maloney, looking for Hunt, who takes the mark five metres out in the forward pocket and will shoot for her fifth. It was a really unselfish play in the pocket. I would have gone for the goal myself, but, you know, um, I'm pretty selfish, so... Megan Hunt now. She's on fire. Why would you not kick it to her? Five goals for Megan Hunt. And UQ with the perfect start. Extend their lead. 9-5-59 to two goals straight 12. Heading back to the middle now for another throw. I mean, we're saying in the first quarter that there might be a wind advantage with this wind pushing to the left of screen. But... As the game has gone on, we've seen that's not the case, and it's just UQ's dominance. They just set up so well in their back half of the ground. They've certainly done well out of the, out of the centre as well and getting plenty of entries inside forward. But every time Yuronga go inside their forward half of the ground, UQ seem to have a beautiful setup there with numbers around the footy, always one or two players behind the contest to handball back, and they've switched it well and, and transitioned from one side of the ground to the other really well with lots of space and allowed their, their quick midfielders to uh, be very dangerous going inside 50. Push in the back there, and Collingwood will take the kick. She just pops it up there. I think she got too close to the man on the mark and turns it over to Exxon. Sends it out wide here. Good pick up by Grider, but she's immediately set upon by Natalie Thomas, and we'll have a ball up. So ball up right in front of us here in the commentary position on the centre wing. Tap down nicely by Jamie Stone. Madison Goodwin overruns the ball. It's going to end up back with Stone if she can get it. Nice tap forward. Only as far as Jackie Yorston is going to come back to a Collingwood who was about to get lined up by Jane Childs but got the ball away in time. And a mark taken at half forward there by Sarah Duncan. Looking for an option inside 50. Nice little pass, and the mark is taken out there by Courtney McDonald. Hasn't had much opportunity today, Courtney McDonald, but she centers the ball. Oh, no mark taken, but snap on goal from Jackie Yorston. Is it going to roll through? Lunging dive there from the UQ defense, but it couldn't quite get there in time. It's rolled end on end through for a goal. And once again, a half opportunity for Yeronga, and they've managed to score a goal. They haven't had many inside 50s, but they've seen to capitalise on the ones they have had. I mean, that's the one positive we can take out of this year on the side so far today. I mean, they're almost seven goals behind, so we'll see whether they can bridge that gap. But if they keep getting those quick forward entries and really shocking those UQ defenders when they don't have time to set up, we could see them mount a comeback here. Matt Grider. Overruns the ball. We're going to have another ball up, I think, here. As stacks on the mill yet again. Down clearing kick there from Yuronga. 
Kayla Martin across half back reads the footy well. Kicks it inside, but it's turned over. Emily Bates take advantage. Kick was a little bit too hot for the teammate there in Sarah Duncan, and a nice mark's been taken by Bree Conan. Comes out wide. No mark able to be taken out there. It's getting dark and on the far side of the ground, so bear with us with the names. Holding the ball free, kicks in the other way of Yoronga. And I'll have an opportunity to go forward again. Umpire calls to play on. Short kick, but it's overrun by the uh, Yoronga teammate there. Nice tackle, buttering it up. And we'll have yet another ball up. No, no, holding the ball. Interesting decision there. Mustn't have had a, much of an opportunity to uh, attempt to get rid of the ball. And Yoronga will have an inside 54A. Good kick there to Collingwood, it looks like. Comes inside, finds Bates. Teammate open. Oh, the teammate open there was Jackie Yorston, but the kick only made it as far as a UQ opponent who's now won a free kick for over the shoulder. Comes out wide to Nat Exxon. Been everywhere again in this third quarter. Just look at this over lap run from UQ. She just sprinted 50 metres there to get on the end of the sport. Terrific ball. tackle there from Dee Heslock. See what the UQ are trying to do. They're trying to run the footy and get it quickly into their half of the ground, but Dee Heslop wasn't letting that happen on her, watching a terrific tackle. Chips it up in for a leading play, but nicely cut off, nicely read there from UQ, and the mark's taken by Michaela Martin. Probably too tired from that tackle to find a target, but there were so many UQ numbers, it would have been hard anyway. Good tackle there by Yorston. Ball spills three. Scrap here right in front of us. Good sweep there out the back from the younger player in Sutton. There's a bit of high contact there. The umpire just missed it by the looks of it and she sends it out towards the 50 but it spills out and we'll have a throw in. Good second and third efforts there from Clancy Sutton. Got the clearing kick forward for her team. Bounty throw in. Justin Yoronga's half of the ground. <laughs> Got Yorston there winning the clearance. So a one-on-one -on -one contest. It's going to go out of bounds again. Could have been out on the full, but boundary umpire has taken the smart decision and called it just a boundary throw-in. Early in the quarter, but Yoronga uh, on top here, you'd have to say. As the ball comes back in. Scrap here at the feet of the Ruckman, but it gets the umpire pulls out a free kick. And it'll be Jackie Yorson's kick. Esther Allen breaking wide, but she's quickly picked up by UQ there. Nice mark. Great mark there. On the lead. Hands outstretched. She's turned her back on her forwards. So it looks like she's going to take the set shot. She's confident that she has the carry here. Does four Jade Ransfield. Six four goals in two games. Jade Ransfield. So she knows where the goals are. See if she can put this one through. Testing distance wise, but she's confident. Nice strike, but it's just gone right and it's gonna go through for one behind. Conan to bring it out here. Oh. Done well there by Ransfield again to intercept, but couldn't quite hold the mark, but at least they've got a contest. Gonna come back in through Kara Stock. Looking for a teammate. Might be Collingwood, Collingwood there. Second effort there, good from Collingwood. Looking for a teammate, but no one working for us. It turns back onto the left foot inside. And we've Ooh. got a free kick here going the way of Yoronga. Lovely play there from Gabby Collingwood. And a free kick's been paid to Vanessa Hart. Chips out to the pocket and finds a teammate. And the bright orange boots will have a shot for goal. Swing this margin below 40 points. <laughs> tough angle, tough distance, but she's going to take the shot by the looks of it. Running in. Good approach. Just touched on the line there by UQ and it spills across. Conan again. No, nope. she gives the ball off. She's sharing it around. So Mick Gorm will play on here. 
Sutton at the back of here, but it doesn't quite get that far. But she works into a nice spot behind for the hand pass. Goes inside 50. Bit of a scrap, but it's going to come out there from Ransfield to the hot spot, the dangerous spot. Nicely played there. Comes out to the left foot of Vanessa Hart. Can she bend it back enough? No, not quite. Through for another behind, but they are pressing Yurunga. They've got a nice uh, bit of momentum here. Locking the ball in. See if they can do it for a bit longer and get that breakthrough of another goal. Good move there by the UQ player. Steps around her opponent, gets the clear kick away, but it's going to roll over the boundary line. Dakota Davidson coming up from the forward line there to be a um, outlet kick from the from the kick in. Bit of a grin there. Bit of biff between the players, I think, because. The UQ bench is telling Dakota Davidson to tell her opponent to look at the scoreboard. So, a bit of banter on field there. Nicely read there by Natalie Thomas, but the kick inside 50 was nicely cut off by Marnie McGorm. But he's just turned it straight over. And Sarah Duncan, probably just outside her range, taking a mark. Looking for a teammate. Couldn't quite hit, but it's going to go probably out of bounds for a throw-in here. And Yonga has a chance to set up. There it is, boundary throw-in. Bit of miscommunication there between the kicker and the leading forwards. Just sort of popped it over their head. I don't think they were expecting it to come in, but got to play the ball here. We're just seeing with Yoronga having lifted in the last sort of five or seven minutes that the formerly resolute and very clean UQ back line just making a couple of little mistakes here and there. It's a clearing kick only makes it as far as Kara Stock. Not quite sure it was 15, but it's been paid the mark. Go to the hotspot. Oh, flying leap at the back there from Duncan. Nicely robed by Vanessa Hart. Gee, yeah, Hart's been dangerous. Duncan looking there. She read that pretty well, waiting for the handball, but couldn't quite cut it off. One-on-one well on one contest there, but nicely picked up by Heslop. Hand passes out to a teammate. Emily Bates running from behind, does very well on that left foot. Shot for goal, isn't quite going to make the distance. Oh, hang oh. on, hang on. It's got a beautiful bounce, and it's gone through three or four. UQ opponents who haven't got a touch on it, and it's a goal. Again, Yuronga just making the most of their opportunities. Another, you'd say, lucky goal there, because there was about four UQ players in the square, and none of them could get a hand on it. You can see with that goal, with each each goal, there's just a little bit more belief, a little bit more spark, a little bit more spirit from Yuronga. That goal's gone through, and the entire back five have just run back in as one with energy and in talk and enthusiasm. I'll give themselves a chance from here. They can get the next goal or two. Still plenty of time. The tails are definitely up. Those devil tails sprung into the air with the last part five minutes. So can UQ stem the tide a little bit here? Heart dragged down by Conan, I believe. Ping the arm there and she'll win the free kick. So Conan to try and get UQ forward. They haven't seen much of it, their forwards this, this quarter. Exxon brings it out wide to Michaela Martin. Good mark there. Good passage of play here from Yuronga. Jane Charles has got the ball. Did she look inside 50 or did she look for another easy kick? Grobs it to Conan, who just puts it on the right boot and sends it as far as she can towards the hot spot. Flying shot on goal there, but it's smothered. And Riongo tried to get it out of their 50. <laughs> Michaela Martin has a chance to go inside 50 again. It's coming out wide to a one-on-one -on -one contest there. Bevan slips over, but second effort's a really, really good. Great contest there with Vanessa Hart, but Bevan's just taken the leg of, of Hart and she'll get the free kick. It's not quite at um, the stage where UQ are desperate for a goal, but they'd want to... Probably have a three or four minute period here where they can just keep your hunger out. We probably happily go in it to three quarter time with a five goal lead, but if it gets down to three or four, half a sniff for the uh, for the Devils. Oh, Emily Bates has had that the whole time. A couple of UQ teammates run into each other. Bates takes off. Emily Bit Bates. of overlap handball. Oh, that's hospital handball there. Collingwood cops it and Conan will pick up the crumbs and send it inside 50 over the back here. Megan Hunt, so dangerous today. 
snaps it over the body and curls it back magnificently. She's got her six. On fire is Megan Hunt. We saw with the uh, last time they had the, had the footy across the um, centre of the ground that they chipped it around a bit, UQ. Going back and forth, trying to wear down some clock and just stop the momentum a little bit. But that time, Bree Conan got the ball, saw Megan Hunt one-on-one -on -one and... Megan Hunt's one-on-one, -on -one, 25 out from goal on a day like today. Why wouldn't you give it to her? Six goals for Megan Hunt. She's on fire in her first game for the... Sorry, in her third game for the season for UQ. I'm not sure if the viewers at home can hear this, but we can hear some chat on the UQ bench. And Xanthi Saruti says if Megan Hunt kicks five, she'll buy her a case. I'm not sure if she's talking suitcase or of the beverage kind, but something to follow up on after the game. Someone's buying her something anyway. She's going to get the ball forward, but it's going to be it's another scrap here. Kayla Martin again, probably a fourth or fifth kick in the last six or seven minutes. Been pretty busy across half back. Looking for McGorm. Does very, very well there. But turns the kick straight over and Yeronga will come back in. Good one with the ball. Assessing her options, but pumps it long to the top of the square. Over the back, Courtney McDonald slots it. And Yuronga strike right back after UQ get their first of the quarter. Did that very, very well. Had a teammate up for the one-on-one -on -one contest, kept her feet on the ground. Let it the back their teammate into it, at least bring it to ground. It went to the perfect spot for McDonald. Back of the contest, able to turn around, walk into an open goal. So 15 goals in just under three quarters of the foot. It's been a very entertaining contest here. Yonga can get another goal or two in this last three or four minutes. We're in for a barn bursting last quarter. I mean, three three goals this quarter for Yoronga. So they've kicked more in this quarter than they did in the first half. So that's good signs. Their fitness is obviously doing them well and they're running out this third quarter very well. Bit of high contact there, hip to the head. And Yoronga's Kara Stock will get the free kick. Pump it wide to the free player there. That's good vision. Hutchinson with the ball now. Good kick to the top of the 50. Good fly there from the back. Bates running in now to pick up the crumbs. And she stops, starts, drops the ball. UQ looked to clear it, but it slapped back inside. But UQ grabbed the ball again. Numbers with the Yoronga here in the middle of the ground, but UQ seem to win it out. Hunt picks it up. Looks wide to Davidson, who will just send it as far as she can, and it's a foot race now. Got Mia Walsh there back, but there's two UQ chases. Walsh does well. Kicks to a contest off hands. Great contest there from Sutton, and we'll have a boundary throw in. Right, can you roll down back? Stay down back, stay down back. A couple of minutes left here in this third quarter. Desperate stakes as bodies are starting to tire. Sutton gets it forward only as far as Jane Child who snaps the ball inside 50. Megan Hunt one on two, but who can stop her? It's a hand pass out to Middleton. Dances around one beautifully. Has a shot for goal. Is it touched? Doesn't matter. Now Exxon reads it perfectly off hands there. Kicks a goal from the goal square. Big goal for UQ and they've extended this lead back out to 38 points. Really good effort from Exxon there. The Yuronga player was in the perfect position to mark that ball, but Exxon just put the pressure on, caused it to crumb it, and then followed up with a second effort and kicks the goal. So for all Yuronga's much improved effort, much improved structure going forward, UQ have managed to still find the goals when they needed them and kept this 38 point lead. Very impressive performance from the Red Devils. Sorry, from the Red Lions, my mistake. Ball up in the middle now. Rux contested, Nat Griders fighting for it at ground level. Palms it off, and you could get another inside 50. Megan hunts around the area, dangerous as always. Bates nice. picks up the loose ball. Nicely done by Mia Walsh there, a couple of efforts. Round the neck there. Nyeronga takes off. 
sends it out towards the running player here. Bagua goes inside 50, looking for a teammate. One-on-one -on -one contest here. Great spoil there. Goes through the legs of Stone. Jesse Henning, though, a couple of terrific efforts there. This is the left foot Tory out to the wing to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Oh, fist dipped there Maria Maloney. I'm not sure if she had prior, but the umpire's called holding the ball. Kick comes inside. So not long left in this third quarter. Might do us, but the kick comes into the centre. Nice mark taken there by Sarah Duncan. Had a couple of really good efforts this quarter. It's tough to score when you take a mark 80 out from goal with three seconds left. And that's what's happened there. So that's three-quarter time siren. Yeronga have done very well in that quarter to make a contest of this one. But UQ, every time they've been uh, every time they've been pressed, they've had an answer and kicked a goal. And they go in 38-point leaders at three-quarter time. 11 goals, 571 to Yeronga, five goals, 333.
So welcome back to the last quarter of this QAFLW match of the round between Yeronga South Brisbane and University of Queensland, where UQ hold a 38 point lead going into the last quarter. Big news here from three quarter time is congratulations to number 43 who's won the meet trade. But we'll stick with the footy for this last quarter and see if Yeronga can get a couple of goals and make it an interesting contest going into the last uh, five minutes or so. Barring any Huge turnaround here. You'd expect UQ to run out with the win, but you know, we've seen stranger things. AFL is a very funny game, so we'll see if Yoronga can mount a bit of a comeback early and put themselves in the frame for a last minute. Last minute kick off the siren, maybe. I mean, I saw one of those this morning in my game, but Bates slips through the fingers there. That's very un Bates like. As UQ send it back in, and great mark there. Davison to Kate take the kick and kicking for her second, I believe. Tell you what, Megan Hunt's very much keen to try and uh, add to her six-goal target. She ran forward as fast as I've ever seen a forward pocket run, hoping that one will go over the back, but it was nicely taken by Davidson. He'll shoot for her second. Very measured on the approach, deep breath in. Well Paid dividends as she slots it and Pumps the fist there. Oh, a nice little bump there with the teammate. Inveta having a bit of fun out there now at UQ. They think they've got this one in the bag, so why not have a bit of a celebration? It's been a very impressive forward performance from UQ. They've twin dangers there. It's good to see um, Dakota Davidson being able to come out and clunk. It's good to see key forwards come out and really clunking the, uh, the ball in the hands. and. Any time the ball's been on the ground or been one-on-one -on -one inside 30, Megan Hunt's been deadly. Good tap there. UQ Ruckman. Jamie Stone has been really good today. But Yurunga will have the chance through free kick to send it forward again. Looks wide there. Heslop comes in. Nice mark taken there. Oh, and a 50. We're going to start this quarter with twin goals. Goal each side to the start of this quarter from the big uh, big key forwards. As Molly Suto will come in. And shouldn't miss. Doesn't. Her first goal for the day. And back to that 38-point margin that was there at three-quarter time. It's been a very high-scoring second half. I mean, UQ really piled on the goals in the first half, but now Yoronga have been able to sort of match them goal for goal. So you'd have to... Yoronga would probably be thinking if we managed to get a few on that board in that first half, the game could be very different. So back to the middle now with the umpires. Nicely done there from Conan, gets the ball out to a teammate. Ryder running forward of the ball, able to get the hand pass. Kick forward inside 50, no mark taken by Hunt. She's back on her feet, and Exxon's there as well. Hunt with the hand pass over the top, back to Ryder who's followed up her kick. Terrific work there from the experienced UQ trio. Over the top and a nice goal's been kicked there from UQ. Three goals in the first three minutes of this quarter and it's back to a 44 point margin. UQ have just looked very dangerous every time they've gone inside this quarter. They're looking to finish the game out strongly and perhaps get themselves a bit of percentage boost because, you know, we expect this competition to be very tight this year. So any chance you have to grab a bit of percentage, get a bit of a big win, you'd definitely be taking in this comp. It's hard to tell as dusk falls upon. I think that was Madison Wood that kicked that goal. 
lights haven't quite kicked in as well as we'd like to up here, so it's a little bit hard with some of these numbers, but we'll get there. Good handball out the back by Yorston. Collingwood moving the ball forward again, but goes to the UQ player. Jamie Stone been tireless in the ruck today. Wins it forward, it wins it forward again. Can't quite clear all the congestion, but it's going to come out in the back here to uh, Madison Goodwin. Nice couple of little handballs there, but the pressure from UQ is terrific. It's very hard for them to get a clean, uh, clean kick forward. Jamie Stone there with a bit of an airy. But butters up well. No, free kick's going to get to. And Maddie Goodwin, who's also toiled hard in the ruck all day. It's been a good contest in the ruck between these two. Big stump forward. Slap down there from Molly Suter. Collingwood with the handball to the sweeper there. Brings it back inside to Yorston. But they've just fumbled here in the middle. Managed to get a kick forward, but there's not much purchase on it. Tackled there without the ball and the free kick will go to the Yoronga player. Kara Stock. No, my apologies. That's Sarah Duncan on the top of the 50 here. Looking wide, there's a leading player, but she doesn't quite hit her, and it's rolling into the pocket. Will it roll out? No. Good pick up there. <laughs> Even better tackle. That was flying through the air, did the UQ play there. Good run there from Natalie Thomas. I think she's playing half back, maybe on the wing. Ran forward to try and create an option and got into a right into the good spot. So the kick couldn't quite hit the target there, and we've got a boundary throw in. No, we don't. So you kick, it's a free kick. Must have been out on the full. Almost a mark there in the goal square. Hands just dropped it. Pokes it towards the forward line. This is the younger player, but it's marked on the goal, goal line. And UQ will send it back up towards Exxon. Exxon and Bates, that's a good duel. Two former teammates with Exxon on her way to Melbourne next season. Umpires picked a free out here to Kara Stock. Comes out wide. A nice mark taken there by Madison Goodwin. Oh, Jamie, you touched that. No mark play on. Oh, must have been touched on the mark. Kick to a dangerous yeah, spot, but the umpire is going to be a free downfield, I think. It's a little bit of fortune there for UQ. It's right to the dangerous spot where you don't want the ball as a defence, but I'll get a free kick and be able to clear it out through Jane Childs, thanks to a downfield free kick. Childs goes straight down the middle. Hits up Nat Grider. Grider's going to go down the middle again to make it hunt, but she cops a big hit there. Mind you, it was legal, I'd say. But UQ send it back inside. Yoronga send it back inside 50. She is, she is up, sitting up. She doesn't look great. Expect that she'll probably come off for a breather. No, nah, she's got six. She's not going to come off. She won't want to. Another 50 here paid to UQ uh, where the ball is, so we'll uh, have another chance to go inside 50. Megan Hunt staying out there. You said Eliza, 6-6 six, six goals, you don't want to come off? Comes out here to Maloney. Nice kick inside 50. And there's Dakota Davidson again. And there's Megan Hunt, sorry, no effects of her head knock. Davidson goes long for goal anyway and doesn't quite get the accuracy and it's through for one behind. Hunt puts the hands up. I was open, mate. Why didn't you hit me? I could have been going for my seventh right now, but it's just been a great team effort by UQ in the forward line. Does Yoronga clear it? Madison Goodwin. Middle of the ground now with Jackie Yorston. Great intercept there almost by Conan. Spills the ball. Wasn't an Easy mark. <laughs> now you're on to go inside 50 and hit up a target, but there's one out the back. McDonald's at the back. They needed to move the ball quicker there to get it to her, but she's still going to mark it and she'll have a shot on goal for her third goal. Courtney McDonald's going for, but it's a 50. So although the uh, contest on the scoreboard isn't particularly tight at the moment, but a nice contest for the leaderboard of the uh, goal kicking comp. 
McDonald kicks her third for the day, takes her to eight for the season. Puts her one against Megan Hunt, one, one ahead of Megan Hunt, who had one goal coming into today, but has kicked six, so it's eight goals to seven. McDonald leading there. Megan very keen to try and square that ledger or even get in front by the end of the day. bit more open footy now in this fourth quarter. I mean, it's been pretty open all day with some great skills by both sides, but just as a bit of spice has gone out of the game, just seen the game open up a bit, a bit more free-flowing as the umpire tosses it up back in the middle. Set upon there by the UQ player straight away. She had no chance to get rid of the ball and we'll have another ball up. Alex Moran tackling Behemoth, looks just loves it. Hitting players hard all day. Good thump out there to Gabby Collingwood, but she's set upon straight away. Good body work by Dee Heslop, gets it out to the player. Slaps it the wrong way. Lauren Middleton in the helmet here. Wins the free kick. Just one on ones ahead. Of not, not many uh, numbers flooding back from your It's all one on one. Side 50. Ball goes long. Two of one of those one on ones. No, uh, no mark taken. That Sutton out there fighting hard for Yeronga. Kick comes back inside of the dangerous hot spot. Full pressure. Keep it in. Keep it in. Good tackle there from Mia Walsh from Yeronga. And we'll have another ball up. Scrappy kick forward from UQ. Oh, Hunt's there. Nicely uh, snapped out there from Burnett. Set upon by UQ again. Just tackling his inside 50 from UQ has been terrific. Hart with the snap there, but it's only as far as Alexandra Moran. Nice kick inside 50. And the mark has been taken by Maria Maloney. Turn her back on her teammates. Now looking for one on the lead. Just over the top, I think. Yep, just gone over the top. And UQ will have the, uh, will have the chance to clear. It's coming out to a one-on-one -on -one contest. No mark able to be Good taken. Work over, Wade. Work over with her. Work over with her. Got Get Leeson here with Xanthi Saruti. Good effort by both players there. Collingwood got the ball here. Yoronga send it down the wing. Oh, that's a good grab there by Jade Ransfield. And another, another 50. 50. He's given them out. Hasn't hit the goal today, Jade Ransfield. Had four coming into today's game for the season in two games. Unselfish play. <laughs> Plenty of these scrappy moments as players starting to tie, but a nice kick forward. But Goalkeeper on the uh, on the goal line for UQ takes the mark, stops the score, comes out wide and finds Haley Pierce. Pierce out looking for Maloney. Get the free kick. Looking for Hunt up the ground. Not as not as clean uh, their their ball movement as it was earlier in the game. It's probably a little bit more stop start as the legs are tiring and not as much running to position. But that half back line is resolute as always. And Eva Agnew takes a good mark. Eva sends it out wide, stretching hands there from the UQ, UQ player, and she moves it on quickly up the wing. UQ taking no risk now, just moving it in along the wing. Not going in the middle, there's no point. They're that far ahead that just going to play it conservatively for the rest of this game. About six minutes left. So we're going to have a throw in here on the far wing. Taps it down, but Collingwood, I believe, is set on straight away. And another stoppage looks like it's on its way. Very contested in these last few minutes. So we'll see which team is able to get the clean break. Good tap down there to the UQ player. 
Oh, strong tackle there by the Yoronga player, and the umpire penalises her. Yoronga's ball. So the last five or six minutes of this game, they'll be looking for another goal or two, just to get a little bit of respectability on the scoreboard. Kick there goes too far for a teammate, but it's nicely, uh, nicely fought there from Bagoa. That UQ hub. Oh, it's a da dangerous kick. Nicely spoilt there, and they're going to be a, a clearing there. I think that's Moran. Gets the ball up forward. And there, who, guess who? Megan Hunt. Too far out to score. Probably three kicks from goal. Her teammates are telling her to go for it, but that's a bit optimistic. She's running forward now. It's Davidson can't quite pick it up, but there's Hunt buttering up. Here she goes again. Oh, good team play. Pass it to a teammate. No mark taken. And they'll clear. Mark taken there by Madison Goodwin, who's found a few touches late in this last quarter. Battled hard in the ruck most of the day. Kick goes over the top. And it'll come back only as far as Heslop, who can't quite take the mark. She's got some support there. Shrugs the tackle nicely and gets it out to Bates, who's been everywhere for Yoronga. Uncharacteristic fumble there from Conan. But UQ managed to clear it up and send it wide, and it's going to roll over. And we're going to have another boundary throw in as the clock continues to tick down. Alex Moran looking for a breather. Battled very hard today. Great tackling pressure and a great target for a teammate. A well deserved break at the end of this game. Dakota Davidson forces it forward. Got Childs here. Oh, good tackle. Dangerous tackle? Yes, umpire's called it. Dangerous tackle. Luckily, she looks like she's okay, despite the head flinging into the turf there. Vanessa Hart looks a little non plus but a little bit stiff, but that's, that's the rules we've got these days. There's another free kick going the way of Yoronga. Kara Stock will take this free kick. Have they, got, have they got another goal in them, Yuronga? Long up the line. Oh, almost a mark taken there by Nat Greider. Oh, great smother there from Saruti. Hand passes back. That was Bree Conan. Goes long, but it's cut off by Natalie Thomas. Played a lot of footy, Natalie Thomas. It's been a cool head back there. Under a lot of pressure at half back for Yuronga. A lot of cramp in these past five minutes. Seen a few players go down and having to stretch out and then quickly get up once the play's back on. Matt Greider played a couple of games for the Lions this year, but her first game for UQ for the season, and she's coming off with cramp. The ball's following her. Turn around, Matt. Turn around. She's had her on a string all day, and the ball just she can't <laughs> get away from the ball, but she's nothing in the legs to chase that one. Vanessa Hart gets the ball. Oh, she still manages to put a smother on as she comes off and collapses over the boundary line. Terrific from Nat Greider. Teammates appreciate it. Ball comes inside to Gabby Collingwood. Out wide finds Dee Heslop. Conan again clean. Gets the overlap here and sends it towards Hunt, but Hunt was looking for the over the back and Conan looked to hit her up. So a bit of miscommunication there as Yoronga send it back towards their 50. Brings it down to Courtney McDonald. UQ looking to spread. But it looks like Yoronga have got the out number here. Good pick, tap to herself there, Jade Stock, and she sends it back. And that's a great contested mark there from Molly Suter, who will look, passes it off to Collingwood. She probably just could have sent it in herself there, but unselfish play. And Jackie Yorston takes a great lunge in mark. 50. Jeez, this must be a world record for the amount of 50s paid in one game. I feel like it's been one every couple minutes. Definitely helps with the scoring when they're paid in the forward half of the ground as Yorston puts it through. Her second goal of the day. <laughs> 33 points the margin, ticking into the final minute of this one. So after a dominant first half from UQ, Yoronga have managed to get a bit of 
a respectable score going, so they won't be completely embarrassed in this one. But if they just managed to click a bit earlier, this could have been a very different game. And as we go into the last minute, we want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. It's been a great contest. Sorry, great, great skills, great match between two sides. Not much of a contest overall in terms of the scoreboard, but it's been entertaining football, and we hope you enjoyed it um, for QAFL's match of the round. Is there time for one more goal for UQ? Jonga got numbers behind the footy, so probably not. Kick comes inside. Ransfield there. Looks up. They want one more. Yuronga do, and she taps it to herself there, Yuronga player. Taps it to herself, takes the mark, and she's walking back now is Taylor Hutchinson. Have a go, Taylor. Have a shot. Got a torpedo. Is that a 50? Oh, another 50. The umpire felt bad. I was going to say, unfortunately, the, uh, the second grab meant that it probably added another 10 metres to the, to the kick that was required, but in the end, it's not going to matter. Umpire bring her to the goal line. And after the siren, Taya Hutchison should kick her second goal. It'll make the margin a much more respectable 27 points. So the final score here at Leishon Park. UQ, 13 goals, 684. Run out comprehensive 27-point winners over Yuronga South Brisbane, 9 goals, 357. Megan Hunt, the star for UQ with 6 goals. Courtney McDonald, 3 for Yuronga. Who are your best players, Eliza? Well, I thought both midfields were really, really strong. Obviously, UQ managed to capitalise when they got it in their forward 50, but you look at people like Bates, who just had it on a string today, and then... The UQ midfielders, Nat Exxon, sort of played that half-forward midfield role. She had a fair bit of it. So just a really strong team performance from UQ. And Yurunga will learn a bit from this. Maybe went in thinking we're on two wins here. We're going pretty well. But great quality game and UQ get the chocolates. And it's a great result for the evenness of the ladder as well. Yurunga will move to two and one for the season. UQ's first win for the year one and two. So uh, that's all from us today. Thank you again for joining us from Leishon Park. Make sure to tune in next week for the QAFLW match of the round. For myself, Lenny Phillips, for Eliza Riley, thanks very much. See you later.